Okay, so today on uh, Collaborate Music, we're going to be looking at the Mode Machines Zox Box. Uh, it's a box that's been lent to us by our friends over at Dynamic Distribution. Um, and it's a German company called Mode Machines, created a 303 uh, um, copy, essentially, um, all hardware. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, and so I'm just going to take you through how to program a pattern, and then we'll use that pattern in a track a bit later on. So you need to set it into pattern edit mode on the mode selector in the middle here. So I've chosen that. I'm going to cut into pattern bank 5. We're going to choose pattern 3 because I've got a couple of cool little patterns going on there. And 1 and 2 that I don't really want to delete over. So I'm going to press pattern 3. So you see the 8 patterns there. So And then I'm going to press the next button. So let me just press the wrong button to make sure there's nothing on it. So there's nothing on there. I'm going to press next to start note entry on here, so I'm going to go next. Put a slide on that. Just go up to that. Rest in there. Rest. up an octave with the up button just there, just like a 303. Um, and then finish the pattern off with the last four. Then we can just tap the next button. to it now you want to make sure that when you finished your pattern you make sure that you next across to 16 the last step of your pattern because when you press done it stores it to the length of wherever that light is sitting so I'm gonna press done now and done again to store it and now we can play it Cool. You can also nudge the notes around in the pattern by just putting it into run mode, nudge them forwards, hold previous, press next, or you hold next and press previous to push them backwards again. Alright, so that's how you do a pattern in a, a Mode Machines Zox box. Well, thanks once again to our friends over at Dynamic Distribution, and we'll see you again uh, very soon, and I'll show you uh, making a whole track using that pattern as well.